I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me complain about this, but Jesus Christ, I am still sweating and it's gross. Uh, it's not even actually, it's actually pretty cool outside today. Like if you walk outside, it's cool, but I'm in an attic and I've got lights set up and this, oh, I'm ready for winter, please. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel, or if you have not seen the series before, what I do is once a week, every other, once a week, what? <laughs> every other Wednesday, I go through all of the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or everything, everything is a total washout. As always, we have plenty to go through, but I really wanted to start with something that basically dropped like right after I posted my last BWOW, and it is the Norvina palette, or Norvina volume two palette. But before I jump into that, I did want to post just a couple of updates of new products that I have picked up recently. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, this is my Instagram handle. I've been doing better about posting to my stories and updating you when I actually buy anything new. And I finally picked up my first Charlotte Tilbury products ever. So they're both right here. I have the Hollywood Flawless Filter I'm actually wearing for the first time today. So we're going to see how that goes. And then I picked up the Filmstar Bronze and Glow in like the light shade combination right there. And I've tested this out a couple of times, but I'm going to keep testing it out before I give you like my full thoughts on whether I think it's worth it or not. Cause this was 60 something. Yeah. A product that I've been testing out has actually been shocking me with how good it is. Uh, so these are from CoverGirl and these are, I, what are the actual names of this? They're like the exhibitionist liquid eye things. They're basically the dupes for like the Stila glitter and glows. I have four total shades right here. I have shades one, two, four, and five. I tried to pick up the ones that looked the lightest out of all of them because I think they have got a black, they've got like a deep purple, but I was looking for more something I could wear like on an everyday basis. And so far these are shocking me. These are so pigmented and so good. They last really well on the eye and I only picked these up because I saw the collaboration between Smoky Glow and Jen Loves Reviews and they did mention this. I think this was in her travel makeup bag or something and I had never heard of these before then. So lo and behold, I go to a local CVS and I find they have the whole collection. I'm like, whoa, how far behind am I on this, right? Uh, so I picked up these four. I'm actually pretty shocked. I'm very impressed. I'm going to keep testing them out. Eventually, I think I might do a whole video on these because they're actually really good because you know how much I love the Stila Glitter and Glows. I have a bunch of them. I just picked up like three more because another YouTuber was talking about how this one particular line of the Glitter and Glows was being discontinued. So they were on sale for $9. So I picked up those. Still, even with those and with my other Stila Glitter and Glows, these are so good. I'm shocked. Now, this isn't like a crazy price difference. There's definitely a price difference, but it's not like half the price or anything. The Stila's are around $24 full price. These are around $13 to $14. So they're still a bit pricey for the drugstore, but they are cheaper than the Stila's. Okay, so with those updates out of the way, let's go to Trend Mood and this Norvina palette. Okay, I am very torn about this palette. Um, well, A, this is coming out with a set of coral lipsticks, which I honestly think orange and coral look really good on me, but I never wear them. I'm too afraid to wear them to like work or like out or whatnot. I don't know, but they look, that shade looks good on me. So I'm actually pretty happy that they're coming out of that lip set. I think it looks gorgeous. But the Norvina palette just really confuses me. So A, I kind of want to get it just because it's the first huge ABH palette. Every other ABH palette has been those small palettes and this one is bigger. It's a lot of shades. That being said, if I just sit down and break down the shades, I have all of these. I think the only shades I don't have in the ABH formula... I don't know, because I think I have most of these already. I've got almost every other one of their palettes. I'm looking at this. I'm seeing, of course, the first Nervina. I am seeing the Alyssa Edwards palette. I am seeing Modern Renaissance. I am I'm seeing just shades cherry-picked from the rest of their palettes. So maybe if you have not tried out any other AB8 palettes, this might be good for you. But, uh, like, I want to see. I, I still want to get this, but I know I don't need it. Like, I've got this. I already have this. 
I don't know if this is limited edition. Is it limited edition? It doesn't say anything about it being limited edition. And it does say the Norvina Volume 1 palette. So there is a possibility that this could be a series. At the end of the day, I'm gonna hold off. I'm not gonna get this when it first comes out. I have plenty of palettes that I'm still testing, that I am still, I've got reviews coming out for. So I'm gonna hold off on this one. I don't think I talked about this before, but Besame Cosmetics is coming out with another Disney collab, and this is for Sleeping Beauty. I have to say, the palette confuses me a little bit. I'm not quite sure exactly what they were going for, but I like the fact that there's greens in here. <laughs> I like the greens. Uh, I think that first row with, like, the th four different shades of, like, mauve is a bit odd. Um, but I do like the green shades in here. Of course, the packaging is absolutely adorable, but personally... I think Besame is, it's a bit pricey. I have one product from Besame and it's a lipstick. Uh, down, so down the shore, I live in Jersey, down the shore there is this retro dress shop that sells like pinup dresses and lingerie and stuff and they have a Besame cosmetics counter there. So I went and their big draw is they have the Marilyn Monroe red lipstick. So of course I was down there, I saw, I wanted to pick it up. It's $30 for a lipstick which is a lot. And that was in store. Like it, I was in re like in a store, like buying it. Oh my God. I've not bought anything else from Besame since because that's been a lot. And I barely touched that lipstick as it is. So I've not bought any of these. I think the packaging is cute. It's more of a collector's item, I believe, than anything else. Eh. Hey guys, so it's editing Monica here. I'm editing this video right now and I happen to look up this lipstick and realize that unfortunately I bought it in a tourist trap. So the actual lipstick is $22. And I, what I thought was like an official Besame counter, I'm assuming they are just resellers. So they're selling the lipstick for 30 when really it's only 22. 22 is a lot more reasonable than the 30. I'm actually kind of pissed I got it now. But just as an update, their lipsticks apparently are not that expensive, but uh, if you go to a cute vintage pinup-y kind of place, it's, uh, it's a tourist trap. So I'm, I don't want to be mean about this, right? But does everyone need their own makeup brand now? Like, Millie Bobby Brown, she's she's only 15, right? Like, of course she's a star and everything, and they're looking to, like, expand her, like, portfolio, I suppose. But every single celebrity and their mother is coming out with a makeup line, and they're not all great they're gonna the market is already oversaturated i like to compare this to like the late 90s early 2000s where every celebrity had a perfume do you remember that specifically i actually really liked the britney spears perfume like curious or curiosity it came in like this bottle right here i actually really liked that perfume as a teenager but did we need every celebrity to come out with a perfume no but that's what was popular and that's what was selling. And so everyone had a body spray or a perfume or, you know, like a spray glitter thing, right? I feel like now it's the makeup industry. Now everyone needs a makeup line. And I don't think everyone needs a makeup line. Especially, she's only 15. Like, I understand that from looking at this, it looks like they're like sheer products. Kind of like a Glossier vibe. Oh, but I feel odd, like... I don't want to say she's too young for makeup. No one really is if you just want to play and whatnot. But I don't like the implications of, like, marketing this to young teenage girls as, like, that Glossier vibe. Like, honestly, I don't think, like, if you're young and you don't want to do makeup and you're just living your life, I don't think you need to be marketed, like, products that'll give you the perfect natural face. Because you already have the perfect natural face. Everyone already has the perfect natural face so these product it, it feels it feels like a money grab because it is a money grab duh but i don't like this i don't like the vibe around this okay so guerlain of course a luxury brand uh is coming out with a setting spray which it looks gorgeous but no way in hell would i pay 46 dollars for a setting spray that is barely gonna last me you know a few weeks like I go through setting sprays fairly often I think the most expensive I would go now 
is like Max Fix Max <laughs> Mac Fix Plus. Like I like Fix Plus. I know it works well. I know if I keep the bottles, I can turn them back into Mac and get a lipstick or an eyeshadow. Like that's as much as I'll go. There are so many great drugstore setting sprays. And if it's something you're using every day and you're going through fairly quickly, ugh, I can't do this. No, I've never bought a girl on product, but I did try a sample of their like primer and I hate myself, but that was a good primer. I really liked it. I never pulled the trigger and bought it because no. <laughs> so no. Like I spit on my chin. So I'm talking to a few of my friends about this recently, but I am just so disappointed in everything Too Faced has been doing recently. Like everything from their holiday collection that's been sneak peeked has been boring as hell. And I even saw they had a pumpkin spice palette, which I love pumpkin spice, but that was not pumpkin spicy. <sighs> so I'm just disappointed overall. I've never bought any of the Too Faced holiday releases anyway, because they're so hit or miss and for the most part it's uh, a miss the only products that i've heard good reviews on from their holiday collections have been their face products bronzers highlights blushes i can get those elsewhere i'm not gonna pay a crazy markup on top of a crazy markup already since it's makeup just because it's a holiday collection i'm not gonna do it so too faced has been just so meh what i mean what happened to too faced ah so Another ColourPop palette that was surprise dropped and whatnot all within two days. But this one I'm actually excited for. This is a peach palette. So I actually really like peach shades. I'm wearing peach on my eyes today. I'm actually wearing the Kylie Peach palette and a Stila Glitter and Glow in peach. So ever since I got the peach whatever palette from Too Faced, I thought it was very cute. I love that palette, but it's not a peach palette it is a mixture it's it's a nice mixture honestly i think that's one of the best palettes two faces ever done is their peach palette but it's not a true peach palette is what i'm trying to say so since then i've been looking for a nice peach palette and the one that i've been loving so far that i'm working on right now is the kylie peach extended palette that's an awesome palette but i saw this and i was like if i could find a good peach palette that's cheaper than the kylie yes Yes. So I already ordered this. It's on the way. I think it should get here tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to test this out. I'm thinking of doing a video um, on Peach and explaining this whole story and explaining the Kylie palette and this palette. So that's probably in the works, but I'm really hoping this works out. A lot of people are calling this boring, but I put on a peach kick, like a light pink, you know, a nice peach, peachy kit, kit, kick. Can I speak? It, I feel like it matches my black almost entirely black wardrobe pretty well but yeah so i'm excited for this i already bought it i actually along with this i picked up the mascara in black and i picked up the liner and mascara in brown so i'm gonna finally test out the color pop mascara and the liner i think this is it i think this is the first lime crime palette i'm going to get lime crime is coming out with a new venus eyeshadow palette one of the smaller ones this is eight shades for 38 bucks. Um, it's not available until September, but it's a smoky palette. This is very similar to like the smoky KKW palette that I was actually kind of interested in. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get this one instead. I love the packaging. I think it's gorgeous. I love the shades in here. So I think I'm actually gonna get this one. Charlotte Tilbury just came out with a new foundation and color correctors. To be honest, a while ago, I was tempted by these color correctors and I was thinking they might be the first product I'll get, but since I did just buy my first two Charlotte Tilbury products, I'm going to thoroughly test those before I make any purchases. I don't think I'm in, I don't really need a foundation. I have plenty of foundations, but I would, I'm still kind of interested because I've never tried like a luxury color corrector. So we'll think, we'll see, we'll see. I'm actually kind of interested in this loose powder. So this is from Urban Decay. I tried out their, uh, I almost forgot. Sir, it is 7.30 a.m. So anyway, I'm actually pretty interested in this because I did try out a powder from Urban Decay. I honestly, the name is escaping me. I'll throw a picture up right here. But it was like a transforming powder, super finely milled. You could either mix it in with your foundation and wear it like that, or you could just use it to set your under eyes. And I used it to set my under eyes, and it was the most silky, smoothing, blurring, 
gorgeous powder I think I have ever used. But it's a bit pricey, so I, I bought it, I used it, I enjoyed it, I moved it out of my collection. But it, it has got me interested in Urban Decay, like, other base products. This is the Ultimate Brush Off Set and Go Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It's 36 bucks. Mm. It's going to be available September 1st. So I, I'm actually thinking of trying this out. I think I would be... I don't want to get the white translucent powder because that, that might be too light for me. They do have like a light banana-ish. There's a... Ooh. It goes from fair to... Wait. Does it go translucent and then fair medium? Yeah, because that's the universal. Okay, so they do have a fair shade. I'd probably get the fair shade because they're calling the translucent one, the white one, they're calling that universal, which I don't think that's universal. I think they should really rethink that name, but I'll probably be getting the fair shade, which looks nice because it's very light, but it is slightly yellow tinted. I do have a warm undertone, so things that are warm match me better. Ooh, something that looks gorgeous and I'm really thinking about, I'm probably gonna get this as soon as it pops, right? I'm not even gonna lie. This is from Juvia's Place and this is the new Warrior 3. The Warrior 1 and 2 were neutral palettes, but look at this. That looks hella gorgeous. I don't know if it's going to be neutral or if it's going to be colorful. It does look a bigger palette though, I can't tell or not. I think it is gonna go for a little bit more. It's $25, which I think is more than the other palettes have been, if I'm not remembering correctly. But this looks gorgeous. I got a whole collection of Juvia's Place palettes. They're on display over there, actually, so I'm probably just going to get this one. Let's just put it out in the universe. I'll probably own this one. All right, and last but not least, we have some lipsticks from Natasha Denona, which these look like what Jaclyn Hill was trying to do and failed to do. <laughs> Uh, I am not currently in the market for Bula lipsticks. They are $25 each, which actually $25 is... I was expecting more from Natasha Denona. Not upset, but I thought th I thought they would charge more. I mean, it's a whole set of nude lipsticks from Pretty Light to Really Deep. They look nice, but I'm trying to stay away from Natasha. I've bought products, some I have loved, some I think are overhyped. I should do a 4x4 four four on Natasha at this point, but... I know I don't need these, so no. All right, so I'm going to stop this week's video right there because I've got to start getting ready for work and whatnot. Let me know what you thought of these products down below and also the upcoming Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Let me know if you're going to participate in that. I'm thinking, I want to see if I get my catalog in because I do like flipping through it in person. I'm thinking of doing a live stream right before the first day of the 21 Days of Beauty, which I believe it starts September 1st, if I'm not mistaken. Let me take a look at my calendar. Yeah, so it should be starting like this upcoming Sunday. So I was thinking of maybe doing a live stream that Sunday, going through the products, what I would recommend, what I wouldn't recommend. So let me know if you guys would be interested in attending that live stream on Sunday. And if you're thinking of getting anything from Ulta. I only purchased two things during the actual Sephora sale. Uh, I didn't want to do a whole video on them. I basically just got two black lipsticks for my upcoming black lipstick video. I got one from Marc Jacobs and one from the Sephora collection. If you're interested, I'll link it down below, but since I have not actually gotten them yet in the mail, I didn't want to say anything about them either way since I've not even looked at or tested them yet. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.